right hey. in front of the house. Hey, uh, this company is so interesting. We got so many emails after we interviewed this gentleman just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the name of the company, of course, is Envirotech Vehicles. Uh, they are publicly traded under the stock symbol EVTV. Um, of course, Philip Oldridge. Phil, uh, a great guy, and, and, uh, and of course, he's the CEO of the company. By the way, their website is EVTVUSA.com. Heavy duty electric vehicles, like you see there on the screen. And guess who's here for the first show of the year? Phil Oldridge. Phil, how are you, sir? Great to see you. I'm great. I'm great. Happy New Year. Thanks for having me back. Good. Well, of course, you'll always come back here. It's, it's, it's an interesting deal. I mean, um, you guys have these what are called purpose-built, zero-emission EVs focused on, uh, I'm going to say, reducing the total cost of EVs. Talk about, for the people that didn't catch you last time, Phil, talk about exactly what you guys are up to. Sure. So we specialize in um, last-mile delivery commercial vehicles. So people say, well, please define last mile. So your typical vehicle that's running like a dry cleaner or your Amazon vehicle, or, you know, even now you're, you're starting to see it with, um, you know, Home Depot and stuff like that, where people are delivering stuff, local plumbing stores, hardware stores, stuff like that. So um, any anything that, uh, you know, is sort of goods and we call them last mile. It's 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 goods from a warehouse into your door, or products and services like um, solar panel companies, all the, all those types of, of types of services. And I and and if you think in terms of, of where you're at, you talk about last mile fleet. Yeah, I, I had a couple emails asking, around. what is the last mile solution? That's what does that mean exactly? That well, <clears throat> for me, it's uh, it's a space that we're rolling with in because it's the biggest impact of that. all. You know, people think that, um, you know, like, a, for instance, a huge tractor trailer, an 18-wheeler going across country has a bigger impact. No, it doesn't. Um, the biggest impact that you're going to get is these uh, these commercial three, commercial, like class three, class four, class five vehicles up to sort of 10, 12, 14,000, up to 19,000 pound trucks that are running around in the city. And they have these diesel engines in them, smaller diesel engines in them, and they're running all day, every day. They, you know, they don't shut them off in the winter because it's too cold. They don't shut them off in the summer because it's too hot. And so, you know, drivers pull up and they and they're just idling all the time. And so, um, they're they're big polluters, like of Knox gas. So it, they have a huge impact on the environment. And so that that's the market that, for me personally, and 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 my family that's involved in this was that's what we wanted to target. We wanted to be able to really push that push that back. Phil, what vehicles specifically uh, we're seeing here on the screen here and for our radio audience, we'll put this up on the web, our website as well. But are, are all of these vehicles currently on the market right now? Or some of these are, are some of these concept or these build to order? Talk about that part of it. Yeah, no, we don't have any concept vehicles, vehicles at all. A lot of companies talk about that, you know, like they're out raising money and they need another 5 million or another 50 million. And we're, we're, you know, we're five minutes away from being on the road, right? Um, it doesn't work like that. So all those vehicles that you see right there, each and every one of them are already licensed. It's homologated, which means that for all intents and purposes, they're certified and they are on the road. So they're all working and delivering. Um, we do have a couple of new products that we're introducing this quarter, which is our school bus. It is not on the road yet, but it will be. We're just finishing up the last of uh, some testing on it and, and it'll be ready to go. But everything you see on our website right now is purpose built and on the roading, including including our right-hand drive vehicles. And let's talk about. It. By the way, Phil Oldridge is his name. He's the CEO of Envirotech Vehicles. Uh, EVTV is their stock symbol. And once again, you can go to EVTV USA uh, to see the website. We're looking at. What is the significance of the right-hand vehicle? And, and you know what? I, I sort of think I know the answer. I'll let you. I'll let you tell us the answer to that. Well, the obvious one is everybody runs off the post office delivery vehicles, right? Because the post office is announcing. And 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 I will say with that, uh, you know. A, a small bit of advice. We did we did build it with that sort of in mind or in reason, but it's much more than that. If you get into municipalities, if you look into yeah. certain municipal yards, like um, public video. works, um, they do a lot of of stuff inside parks, uh, dumpsters, city dumpsters, cleaning, um, parking meters, meet you know people that are running along in meter maids and stuff like that. So there's a whole bunch of right hand drive, you know, that is used in the left hand drive environment. And then of course the obvious answer is for us. We're in the North American market. We also um, are homologated under an EU standard, which means that we've uh, met the requirements for certification inside the European uh, countries. So we also build in right-hand drive for countries like England or Ireland and stuff like that. So.
Hey, uh, Phil, I got to ask you, what are you most excited about for 2023? 2022 is pretty spectacular. I mean, you talk about uh, you know, Q3 was a, was a successful quarter. We'll hear about Q4 here in the weeks to come. Um, you guys evolved a lot last year. Uh, you take a you research at all about your company. And, and boy, you, you, know, you, you were able to release the, the right-hand drive, as you mentioned, uh, uh, you know, and, and obviously a last-mile solution for many of these companies that do business with you. What are you most excited for for 2023? Um, well, from a personal standpoint, uh, you know, that, you know, we, we always like to think that we know everything, but as we get older, you and I seem to share the, the same sort of age group. So as we get older, that we realize. <laughs> Don't remind me, pal. <laughs> yeah. So I'm celebrating so start... the 33rd anniversary of my 30th year this Perfect. year. I don't, that's how we're, that's how we're going to say it. You and me both. So, <laughs> I know. So, uh, so I'm really excited on a personal note that, um, you know that I am rediscovering many things about myself that I didn't know existed, and that and, and uh, so that that's really great. But from a from a corporate standpoint, from a business standpoint, we're most excited about uh, a number of different products we have coming out. Obviously, our school bus. We're very very excited about that because, you know, it, it carries our youth. It carries the future of our country. It carries you know it carries our kids. And so I'm very excited about uh, very very excited about that. Um, and then I, we're really excited about, um, we have uh, built and certified a vehicle right now that is what we call, um, it's a universal vehicle. We've tapered the front end of the vehicle and it's become a single seat and the front end is tapered down and it serves both right hand and left hand drive. So it fits in both areas. So we're, we're very excited about that. And people say, what kind of a vehicle would that be? Um, you'd use it in, again in um, parks and recreation, last mile delivery for food services, you know, pizza, you know, all that type of stuff, uh, chicken wings, uh, you know, salads, whatever people are running around delivering a, a really short version. It's um, it has a heated box on the back. It has a refrigerated box on the back. And we also have it available for um, uh, for distribution amongst um, the ag, ag business or agricultural business nice. that goes between the crops, between the grapevines, those uh, types of things between trees cherry trees apple orchards wow. and stuff like this we're very wow. we're very very excited about that vehicle and the last vehicle that we're going to be releasing which is going to be released in the first in q2 in the first part of q2 is we have developed um which we're super excited about an electric road sweeper so it, wow. that'll be for sanitations it's parking lots and sprays water and you know has your typical brushes but it's it's all electric so you can utilize it at nighttime in parking lots when generally they're empty or in parking lots in high rise buildings and um, or in underground parkades and that type of stuff when when buildings are normally people are sleeping and they can't have that noise and development and stuff like that. So we, we have that, you know, common areas around neighborhoods and stuff. So we're very, very excited about that. That's the name of my new heavy metal band is Electronic Road Sweeper. But I'll tell you, you know, that single, you know, that single, that single vehicle Mike's most excited about because it's going to get him from the front door to the mailbox. <laughs> Boom. I knew it was coming, Phil. I, I knew it was the coming. face of EVTV. Thank you. <laughs> Where's <laughs> my pizza? <laughs> Talk about delivering pizza. Mike just wants one for around the house. <laughs> Phil, thank wow. you, brother. I appreciate it. Great to see you. Phil Aldridge, CEO, Envirotech <laughs> Vehicles. EV. EV is their stock symbol. EVTVUSA.com. As soon as she or, started to smile, I knew. Where's my lunch.org? <laughs> Fantastic number. All right, more big biz coming up.